get to that word, I'd like to read to you from my book, Echoes of an Ancient Dream, Aramaic Towning on the Path of Light. In the beginning here, I'm quoting someone else. In his 1929 book, Pagan Regeneration, a study of mystery initiations in the Greco-Roman world, Harold R. Willoughby relayed how the general mass of students were called miste, miste, Greek word meaning those with eyes closed, until they were through their final grade of spiritual initiation, at which point they were called epoptia, meaning those who can see. These eyes closed miste were often very easily swayed and wowed by the bells and whistles of miracles, trance states, and even psychotropics psychotropic substances, most often to the negation of true actualization and realization. In the eagerness of their spiritual immaturity, they would often prefer, prefer to be stoned on God rather than to do what was required to experience the eternal nectar of true gnosis. This eyes that can see and ears that can hear insight was literally all over the pagan philosophies and mystery teachings at the time of Yeshua. In fact, this pagan philosophy is all over the teachings of Yeshua as well. To awaken the sod or secret level of a teaching, one must first enter through what Yeshua referred to as trying to get a rope through the eye of a needle. Oh no, wasn't it camel? Oh no, it was rope. Mistranslation there. Another possibility could have been even camel hair, but the, the, the vowels, the diacritical marks weren't there, so a judgment was made going into Greek and they made a mistake. That's a different video. The word that Yeshua used for I was hurria, hurria which means opening, portal, freedom, emancipation, liberty, opening, or I. The word kruria literally means to free a slave. The Yeshua teachings also used the Aramaic word tareya, there it is, several times to describe this wholly open and surrendered state of being. And I will say Matthew 27, 51, Ape Terea de Haikla, the veil uh, in the doorway of the temple. That doorway, Terea. Terea is most often translated as doorway, gate or doorkeeper or even gatekeeper. Terea would much more accurately be translated as portal a doorway or entry point between two rooms or dimensions of awareness. The sod level is revealed only through deep states of meditation and contemplation when one is empty and open, though not necessarily by conscious choice. This open emptiness can often come through an experience of immense challenge, confusion, or profound loss. Feel that one out. Giliana, that's unveiling, that's revelation develops and grows through the fertile open portal when we finally let go. Many of us have felt this feeling in meditation or moments of deep spiritual experience. It is what I call falling backward off a cliff with your eyes closed into the abyss of non-knowing. You've had that maybe in meditation, in music, in deep sexuality, or even just sitting where <gasps> it almost feels like you're about to fall backward, but your body's not going anywhere. Well, guess what? That's the eye of the needle. More on that in future videos. Or in my mentoring po program, I literally work with people of how to awaken that, how to increase the fertility of that eye of the needle and how to get through. 
This moment does not always feel like roses and sunshine. But in truth, often more, more feels more like an overwhelming state of panic or loss of control. In a way, loss of control is kind of what it is, but in a way, you're not under control anyway. Not really. Yet this is exactly what is required. Your acute fear in these moments is simply the echoing resonance of your hidden past. What do I keep saying over and over? Let go. Nothing, no thing, belief, idea, philosophy, possession, religion, is more important than being open. I love you all so, so dearly.